noticed how hot and humid it's felt across the country. We're talking all about the warm conditions, what we've seen this July with intense heat, but also what the future brings. We have a heat dome resonating from the U.S. that's uh, going to create some uncomfortable conditions or help moderate some places. We'll tell you about who could see the moderation soon, but heat really helps to amplify storms. You can see this funnel clouds forming here. This was earlier this week in Saskatchewan, but people may have needed to cool off taking a dip in the lake here in Port Stanley, Ontario. Uh, cooling off certainly sounds nice, especially through southern Ontario where those humidex values have been reaching into the 40s for much of this month. We're going to talk about who even broke this year's record for the hottest day of the year. Check out this nice shot there on, uh, out of Port Stanley as well. All right, I'm Victoria Fenn Alvarado alongside meteorologist Laura Power. Laura, heat, that's been such a topic of conversation. We've seen so many heat warnings so far this year. Who has taking the win for the hottest temperature so far this year. Well, it's surprising, Victoria. It actually goes to BC, who have seen pretty moderate temperatures so far this summer, but Lytton, BC still holds the record for the hottest temperature of 2025. Going back to June 8th with 39.3 degrees, but all of North America has been seeing extreme temperatures and humidity. Here's a look back on the Thursday heat event that we saw. 52 humidex value in Missouri, 50 in Mississippi, but back at home we saw some really intense humidex values as well, pushing 45 in southwestern Ontario. That's not even the warmest we've seen. We've seen 46 in Sarnia and Windsor and Ottawa so far this year, adding to our 30-day totals. Of course, some folks love the tropical-like heat, but uh, it could also bring some risks. You know, with that high heat, you need to make sure you stay cool and stay hydrated. Heat-related illness is very often common when you get into those extreme heat levels. Now, as for the future, Laurel, the question is, what are we to expect? Do we see any relief in sight? We do for the east, Victoria, but the west is just getting going. As we go into the end of July and beginning of August, we're seeing a heat dome build. And a heat dome is when a ridge of high pressure kind of gets trapped over central U.S. for the most part, uh, and that is going to surge the temperatures northward. The ridge is going to push in through the prairies and even in through the, northwest or the northern territories, bringing the hot temperatures, the humidity, likely some moisture with it as well. But Calgary, struggling to get up there, Victoria. Yeah, Calgary seems like the cool spot, or Alberta in general, the cool spot of this week. But you do get some relief. If you're a fan of the warm conditions, you're slowly going to start to get warmer by midweek next week, by next weekend, feeling more like 28. But the east, it's been warm. Are we ever going to see any cool uh, air come on through? We need some refreshing air, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> we really do. We need a break from this intense heat that we've been dealing with all summer. We are getting a bit of a break as we head into the first week of August. Here's a look at the temperature anomaly for August 1st, putting the eastern half of the country, specifically Quebec and Labrador, well below seasonal for this time of year. So much so that Ottawa is going to go from feeling like 41 to 22, Victoria. Yeah, 22 is feeling a lot more comfortable, but do keep in mind this weekend and on Monday, if you are anywhere across the east with those humid X values into the 30s and 40s, make sure you try to stay cool and uh, avoid any heat-related illness.